Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel where I share lifestyle tips, business tips, and I get a little personal with you. So, today's video is really exciting because we're going to be making candles, which is my passion, my business, my love. So, yeah, I've been waiting to make this video and now is the time. Today is the day. So, keep watching if you want to make candles with me. Okay guys, I have the wax here. I get my wax from the flame and candle. I'm gonna have a thermometer here, um, the scale, and then I'm gonna use this to weigh the wax. I have the oil here um, in a measuring glass to weigh the oil. And then this is my secret ingredient that I have here that's gonna go in there. I have the jars and the two different wigs for them the glue gun and then I have my coloring for the wax and then I have my wick cutter at the end so that is all I have right now so let's just get on started so I have the wax here let's open it we have the scale here we're gonna weigh it Okay, y'all, so it's on ounces. If you can't see it, I'm going to just tell you, I'm going to fill this to 16 ounces. Okay, a little went on there, but that's okay. I'll try to be a little neater. Okay. It's at about 14, 15, okay, it's 16.08. I'm gonna take a few off. People get really precise, so that's fine. Okay, 16 ounces It's the wax in here. Okay, so I bring the wax over here to the stove Here's the wax, I'm gonna cut it on just like medium temperature, so like mid, I would say. So I'm gonna pour it in. So the wax is in. Okay guys, the wax has started to melt. Some of it is still solid. Okay guys, it has melted all the way. So, now that it is all melted, it's time for me to add my special ingredient. So let me just say, this is how I make candles. Everyone out there has so many different ways on how they make it and like what they do. Like you have to do your research and this is what I came about. That was a secret ingredient to me that I feel like helped my candles. So I use, I use this coconut oil and I use like a teaspoon of this in my scented candles because it helps the scent throw. It helps the candles just be stronger. So because I use soy wax, which is a little bit harder to work, work with, I wanted to use it though because it's all natural. I know it's a lot of other alternatives and things like that, but I stuck with it. I just feel like I had to like just talk about that for a second. But enough about that, let's add it in the wax and then let's finish making handles. So I'm gonna use this measuring cup to measure it. So I'll put it on there. I said a teaspoon, but I actually do measure out how much I put in there. Um, so I guess that was wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on and it's on ounces. Okay, so I'm just gonna measure out 0.5 ounces, which is almost just like a teaspoon, which is a half an ounce. So this has been ready already. So let's go ahead and add that coconut oil. Ooh. Let's go ahead and add that. Keep in mind, I usually have two hands. 
but I have one today. So that is in there. Okay, so let's take the temperature. So let's turn it on Fahrenheit. There it is. It's 190 guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off because really it just needs to be 185, but that won't hurt. So after it gets to about 185, that's when I add my color in. So I have the color here, and my baby powder candle is um, the light blue color, so let's find that. All right, so I found the light blue, um, and you only need a couple chips. I'm almost out of this one, but luckily you don't need that much, so let's add it. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna try to record this. It's cooling down a little bit, but that's still good. a good temperature to add the coloring. So, my nails, y'all, yeah, usually I don't even get my nails done this long, literally. But you need just literally about this much, hold on. Okay guys, you need about this little of a chip. Literally, this is all you need, and it's gonna be good enough. So let's add it. All right guys, I added it. I'm gonna remove this. For now. Okay guys, I feel like the color has been mixed in pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it off of here. I got some wax paper down right now. I'm just gonna let this sit here until it cools off to about 150. And then I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. It's on ounces and it's teared. So I'm gonna weigh the fragrance oil to one ounce. Let me get down here. I can't. But guys, now baby powder is gonna get one ounce of, let me just pour this first and then I'll explain that later. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil. It did cool down to 140, but that is fine because I like it between 140 and 150. And then as you can see, it automatically starts cooling down. Okay guys, so one thing I wanted to add, and I put one ounce of fragrance oil to the 16 ounces of wax. Let me tell you guys, I only did the one ounce of baby powder fragrance oil. If I would have used one of my softer scents, I would have put maybe 10%, which would have been 1.6 ounces of oil to the 16 ounces of wax. So I just wanna throw that in there. That does vary. Test, 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 and you'll find that out. Okay, back to the video. Okay guys, so I cleaned out the jars and I go ahead, I went ahead and put the wicks in the jars because I need to hurry up. Um, but I use Eco 12 wicks for my big jars. It varies depending on scent. And baby powder is pretty strong, so that's why. I'm gonna use Eco 6s for the smaller jars. Let's go ahead and I use a glue gun because I just feel like this is easier than paste or whatever. So just a little bit. Not paste, but like the stickers. And then I try to get it straight in the middle. Let me look here. Okay, and then I just hold it down. Ow, guys! I just burn myself with a glue gun. Be careful, guys. So that's that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this.
So all the jars are wick. Let's go ahead and pour the wick. I did have to put it back on just a little bit because it did cool down while I was trying to do that. But it's 130, which 130, 135 is a good temperature even like 125 would be a decent temperature to pour like I said this is my method and this is what I've learned through test and trial so please 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 test and trial yourself to make sure but it's about ready I'm gonna give it one last stir before I pour them in let's go ahead and pour I aim toward the middle when I pour Go ahead, not too fast, not too slow. Honestly guys, that's really, really, really good. Um, really good. So these are gonna be light blue. The battery is about to die, but I'm gonna put the little stick holders on there and then I'm going to let them sit. I have the wick holders here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on quickly before the battery dies. So as you guys can see, they are starting to become solid. The small one always becomes solid before the bigger one. So yes, I just wanted to pop in here and show you guys that this is the process when they are becoming solid. So they have fully became solid. Um, and I went ahead and put the labels on two of them and then I left one off just so I can show you guys. Um, these are the labels that I use. I use Avery labels. Um, I have been using them since I started. So baby powder is here. I'm going to go ahead and take that off and put it on here. And yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you want to purchase these lovely candles right here, the Baby Powder set, they will be on LitOilsAndCandles.com. I will link it in the description below, as well as put it on the screen right here. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with you guys today making candles. Well, technically I was by myself, but I was thinking of y'all, so that we were together, okay? <laughs> Hopefully I was able to answer all of you guys' questions. Like, it's so much to say sometimes, I can't get it all in one video. So please don't be afraid to comment and let's chat. If you liked today's video, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces.